So excellent. Thank you. And so now let me just go and show how uh, we might go. So I, now I've reversed this. Uh, we're on the bottom. We have truly new to DQ. Then we're familiar, able to judge, etc. And we're really focusing today and on that first day of the conference in that uh, newbies track uh, on the group that is in one, two, or three. You're able to judge and state, but you want to, want to get further. And we're we're focusing on the top five, uh, the bottom four. Okay, that is uh, being a all the way to being able to help decision makers reach better decisions. If people are far enough along to actually want to become certified decision professionals, I would recommend they go to different programs like the uh, SDRM program at the University of Texas, where you can get a certificate or all kinds of training programs that are available uh, by uh, decision frameworks and SDG and, and others that are in that uh, basic training game. So that's what we're trying to do in, in that first track. And, the next thing I want to know is how much do you care? Uh, and uh, as we do this poll, uh, can you raise the poll, please? Okay. And so I have at the bottom is I can't answer. I don't know enough yet. Okay. Or second is I like the framework as a tool for getting more value. I'm a, champ a champion for adopting DQ in our organization. I'm personally enthusiastic about spreading the skills. And then the most extreme one is I'm passionate about the power of better decisions to create a better world. And that's personally where I am. And I have... Uh, my experience and history is that in graduate school, I fell into this field. In those days, there was no uh, decision quality and decision analysis had just been uh, really created by Ron Howard and Howard Rafa was in, in a similar kind of a thing with a different setting. But uh, the uh, when I fell into it, I, I, a whole lot of things fell into place for me. And uh, it was like a, a switch turned. And I came from the world of teaching uh, without uncertainty, engineering economics. I was a teaching assistant and I had a course that I had to teach that was in engineering economics, which was all about uh, machinery replacement, but time value of money, discount, net present value, and uh, things of that sort were already in place at that time. And I asked the question, how come people don't consider uncertainty? And uh, my professor said, now that would make a good dissertation. And that's when I started getting into this and a lot of things fell into place. And I was very lucky at that early stage to have uh, as my guinea pig for my dissertation, the uh, 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 Standard Oil of Indiana. Standard Oil of Indiana uh, was well advanced in this area. And uh, I had, uh, with, with that uh, presentation, uh, my dissertation, them as guinea pigs, uh, I got to talk to all the top management. And then they said, hey, you know, we've got a really difficult decision problem. Maybe we should try it on this. And with decision analysis, as a just a graduate student, I was able to...